Hi, my name is Joanne Dennison, and good chance you're watching this video because someone on your team has decided they want to pursue the CMP, Certified Meeting Professional, and maybe more specifically would like to take my class to prepare. And you're thinking, why should I do either? What's, what's in it for the organization? Why should we do that? So I thought I'd share some thoughts with you that might help you make those decisions one way or the other. So what are the advantages of someone having a CMP? I'm going to do reverse. I'm going to talk from the supplier side first. Suppliers that have CMPs on their uh, team, we find that a lot of planners, especially CMP planners, are very attracted to that fact because they feel that that supplier gets it from the planner point of view. So that can be a huge sales and marketing advantage uh, for a supplier to have it. In terms of planners, there's certain organizations where having a certification certainly helps gives credibility to the meeting and event department. So that's certainly one thing. But just even having your employee be more engaged in the industry and learning certainly can be an advantage. When someone prepares for the CMP, they're always going to learn something based on how they prepare. And I can't speak for what they learn in other ways of preparing, but I can tell you a little bit about what they learn in my class and how your organization will have the advantage because of it. One of the things I talk about a lot in my class is our job is to create the best meetings and events possible, no matter what the situation, and that we should always be working to make them better. Better meetings and events create a better organization. I also talk strongly about how your meetings and events have to fit in with the company's what I call value statements. The mission, the vision, the strategy, the credo, whatever terms you choose to use in your organization. We talk a lot about how the meetings and events need to obviously and clearly support those to be well done. Some things that we talk about in class that might surprise you, yes, we do talk about hotel contracts and food and beverage and room setups, although probably not the way you think we do. But let me talk about some things that you may not think that we talk about. We talk about stakeholders. We talk about strategic plans. We talk about ROI, a lot about ROI, return on investment, and how do you create more of it, and how do you track it, and how do you measure it. We also talk about budgets. They learn how to, the difference between an incremental budget and a zero-based budget and how to create and work with both. They also learn a lot of accounting terms that they may be unfamiliar with, including uh, cash and accrual and balance sheets and P&L and cash and all these things that, for those of us who didn't go through finance, can be a bit overwhelming. So that's some of what they would get from attending my class on their route to earning the CMP. Hope that helps you make some decisions.